Hey, I'm back. So, I made a water bucket because I thought, oh, I'll just make an enchantment table. That way I can enchant my tools. But then I realized I don't have bookcases to make a level 30 enchantment. And I don't remember seeing any sugar cane, even though I've probably passed it like a million times. So, I've decided to hold off on using my levels, even though I'm dying to, and instead just keep tackling some more dungeons until I can find aforementioned sugar cane. Alright, so we're going to head up this mountain using these conveniently grown vines. I know how words work now. Okay. And there seems to be this cobblestone path here. So that's cool, I guess, when random paths are just suspended in midair for us to walk along, and I'm sure that's totally safe in real life. I'm just gonna make, I'm gonna build a path like that, and I'm going to walk on it to work every day, even though I don't go to work. Okay, um, now we are going to head to the top, and we seem to be completely bypassing that path, which is kind of strange, but I'm not questioning yet. What's in here? Nothing? Really? Seems like there really should be something. Hmm. Maybe this is that thing about the uh the villager being in like the heart of the or the core of the mountain or something like that. I'm gonna dig a little bit until I find something. Because this, this does seem to be a mountain. That's that's true. There's nothing false about that. Alright. Yeah, I'm not going to bore you guys with this. I'm not going to dig for this. If I find him, then cool. If not, I'll look again later. But right now, we I want to go to that cobblestone path. Because it looks interesting. Uh, hop. Whoa. That's ominous. Where'd that come from? Whoa! Holy crap. What is that thing? Um, and another thing to explore. Okay, so skeleton spawner and gas spawner. Gas spawner, more urgent than skeleton spawner. Come on, kill it. There we go. Gas spawner is deactivated. Now we can kill the ghast. Take care of this mountain core. Oh. Tch. So, villager is in the mountain core. There's a place labeled mountain core. Hmm. Figures. Anyway, let's take out uh, some steak. No, let's not throw our food on the ground because that tastes gross. I mean, ground pork steak thing? Whoa! Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Why are there so many places to go that I want to look at? Hmm. Alright, interesting. So it seems to be a relatively safe pathway. Relatively safe, my ass. Um, creeper spawners are not my favorite. I'm not gonna lie here. They don't make me happy. There we are, skeleton spawner, and nothing. Alright, and we have stairs continuing down there. Something back here, too. Let's just snipe these skeletons, and I'll dig a little walkway in the wall. Huh, bedrock. Nice. Wait, what? Why is there like a gap here? The heck? That's a bit odd. Just a random gap in the bedrock there. Alright. I don't hate it. I support gaps in the bedrock. Oh god, stop. No. Off the cliff with you. Alright, I feel safer now that I'm in the uh, center of this area. I can destroy spawners without skeletons trying to shoot me in the face. 
have here? Another skeleton, which can die in a fire. But most importantly, we have a pathway with a villager. That's a terrible trade. Wait, what does this say? <laughs> yeah. Cool. Wait, actually, I shouldn't be carrying this with me. I should leave this here and come back for it. Welcome to my home away from home. Please get me out of here. I want back in my ship. Take the villager egg, please, and make it back in one piece. Here's my secret. At a frozen lake, there's a dirt staircase that leads to a hidden chest beneath snow. Don't worry, the hole is only three meters deep. Alright, so we'll put that in there for now. I'll come back for you, Virgo. Verlo. I promise. But I've got a core to explore. That's void. Why is that void? And there is a fleecy box looking thing, or whatever you want to call it. Maybe it has wool, maybe it has something that's not wool. Who knows? Let's just continue going our way down the mountain core and hope we find something cool. Maybe some awesome loot would be appreciated. Maybe some rare minerals. Cough, cough, diamonds. Maybe some armor. You know, I should make armor. That's probably a bad thing that I don't have that. Cave spiders! What a surprise! Fancy meeting you here. Oh, thanks! I was waiting for you to poison me. I really enjoy it when you do that, you know. I really do. You know, at least, at least, you didn't surround it with silverfish blocks. It's a small respite. And I respect that. Because surrounding it with silverfish blocks, that would just make it even more unbearable. Let's take this guy out from a distance. And the point of taking it out from a distance is so I don't activate the spawner like I just did there. Why is there string on my hotbar? You don't need string on your hotbar. <sighs> Alright. Oh my god, going away from the wall a little bit. We're mixing up the formula. Alright. We're getting near the bottom now. This is where the real danger comes into play. Oh my god, there's a whole other section over there. What the heck? So I guess that's the void I saw. It seems to continue quite a ways, too. It's not just like another like little annex to the dungeon, it's a complete like extra area. Which is quite interesting, I might say. Um Huh. This is the part where fire resist might come in handy. Although I'm gonna try and go without it for now. Oh crap, 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 fire. He's healing. It's super effective. Oh, damn it, fire. Look, I figured out not to keep my splash potions next to my bow so that I don't accidentally throw them on the ground. God damn it, fire resistance. Why do I have to waste it? Huh. Well, this is certainly interesting. Spawners are active. Nice. Okay. Let's back up a little bit. That, that gas spawner does not seem to be still uh, actually activated. It just seems to be spazzing out a bit. So that's my first target. Second target. Final target. Let's go. Potion, get away from the gas spawner before it spawns ghasts. Because gas spawners tend to do that. Spawn ghasts, I mean. You know, that's something that they enjoy doing, combined with long walks on the beach and romantic candlelight dinners. Please don't date ghast spawners. Because you'll lean in to kiss them and then they'll spawn a ghast. Oh god, I'm standing in fire. I'm standing in fire. Instant health. Bam. Save my life. Alright, so... God damn, why can't I hit this place? Thank you. You know what will be helpful? Health regen. 
Also, being hungry. That, that really helps. Appreciate it. Oh god, where? You're up. You're up. Alright. You were up, but now you're dead. I'm clever. Oh my god. Okay. Instant health. Saved my life yet again. Actually, I regret to inform you that I actually would have survived without instant health. Granted, I would have been at half a heart, but... Jeez, this instant, my health is, this instant health is so, so useful. Stop making me flaming. I don't enjoy the fire. No, 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 no. Dig into the rock. You know what? This is my house now. New base. I'm going to completely abandon the old one. This is my now new house. And let's get some gas-proof blocks in here. Huh. <sighs> Alright, so... This is going swimmingly, I would say. Okay. Um, what's the plan? I don't seem to be making much progress. But... There's not really much I can do because there's... These spawners in these really dickish locations. That make it hard to get to them without anything else spawning. In fact, they make it near impossible to do so. Whoa, blaze rods. Me likey. You know what, let's ignore the blazes. Run over here, lighting things up, as always. There's a chest there. I wonder what that has in it. Let's grab this iron ingot while we're here. Because iron's cool, right? Everyone's friends with iron. Apparently there's some skeleton spawners here. God damn it. 